Hi guys, so I'm back in my shed, ready to make another liner lock. This liner lock will be slightly bigger than the ones I usually make. So for the blade and liners, I will use O1 tool steel. I'm really excited about this build, because I got some supplies in the mail. I think this 316 pivot will be perfect for this knife. And I got some phosphor bronze washers. For bolsters, I'm going with nickel silver. They will match the pivot screws. And for scales, I'm going with black ebony. The reason for that is because I'm going to checker the wood after some sketching. This is what I came up with. This time I think I finally figured out how to hide the hole for the detent ball. This has been an issue with my liner locks ever since the first one I made. You can clearly see it there. And it's the same with the previous one I made. I just drilled the 316 pivot hole. Now I'm gonna grind the bevels. The blade is tilted slightly in a downwards angle. I lined it up with the belt. The reason for that is because I want the curve of the bevel to match the curve of the bolster. Now it's time to drill the stop pin hole and the pivot point in the liner. And to get the blade and the liner to match, I'm just going to use the holes that's already on the blade as a guide. So here's a rough sketch of the liner. My way of finding where the stop pin slide needs to end is just placing the knife in its closed position. Clamp it down and use this hole. If you guys have a better way of doing it, please let me know.
Next up, I will make the lock bar. For this, I use a small cutting disc from Dremel. Now that I'm done rough shaping the liners, I will go back to the lock bar and release it. There's no room for getting a file in here, so I'm gonna fix that, because if I cross this line, I'm screwed. So I'm just done fitting the lock bar. It was a lot of back and forth. All right, time to set the detent. And now I'm gonna drill the detent hole in the blade in the locked position. So the next step is making it shiny again. That way when I temper it and make it springy, I will see the color blue formatting.
This is the black ebony. Now I'm gonna make some scales. I'm gonna make the backspacer. I roughed it out with my angle grinder.